Hey guys, so January has come and gone and I can't say I'm going to miss it. It has been horribly cold, especially in Canada. So I'm going to do my favorites of January video. So some of the things are new, some of them are a bit older, most of them are pretty new, which is probably why they're my favorite right now because I wanted them so bad. But I'm going to show you all of them. And then if you've tried any of them, let me know. All right, so I'm going to start with one of my favorite new things, and it is the Tarte CC Primer. Of course, I have it in fair, but it's amazing. I love it. I've used quite a bit of it already, so you can see there's a bit of a gap. And so it just looks like this. It's amazing. I love it. It's great for the days that you don't really feel like wearing makeup, but you still want a little bit of coverage because if you're like me, you're embarrassed because your skin isn't that great. So I just use this with concealer and powder on the days I don't feel like doing makeup. And it still looks like I have some makeup on for school, which is awesome. And then on the days that you do feel like wearing makeup, I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. It's amazing. I love it. And I am fair beige, I believe. Yep, fair beige. So um, it's not the lightest one. It's actually for pink undertones, which I have a lot of. So I love it. Also a new thing from Sephora is this Ole Henriksen. It's a cream and it's really good. I also have a cleanser and the toner that's from the matching set, but I don't know yet how I feel about them. They are really good. Um, I've only been using them for I think two weeks now. And it's hard to say if I've seen results just because my face broke out a little bit last week. I don't know if it's because I tried the Lush Mask or if I'm just stressed, which obviously I am. But aside from that, um, I do like it. It's just my face is not the greatest right now. So I'm going to give it a few more weeks and then maybe it'll be my February favorites. But as of right now, it's just tight. So the next is my NARS powder. So I've shown this before in other videos and it's light to Mont Blanc. I really want to try the Tarte um, powder to go over top, but because I haven't even hit pan in this yet, I decided that instead of getting the foundation, the CC primer and the powder that I would just get two of the things. So, you know, that worked out for me, but I like the Tarte products. They're really nice. So another favorite of mine is this Real Techniques brush. It's the powder brush and I love it. It's great. It's so fluffy and soft and it's amazing. Another brush that I'm loving is this blush brush from Real Techniques as well. So really happy with that. And also the foundation brush. And it's Real Techniques too. And then another favorite of mine this is pretty new as well. This is the NYX blush. I love it so much. It's such a nice color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. The lighting's kind of bad, so you can't really tell. But it is in the color peach, and it's very natural looking, and it was only like $5 at Ulta, which is awesome. And then a few other things that are actually from Ulta as well is um, this NYX lip gloss. And I'm not sure of the color. Oh, it's Milan. And it smells really good. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I don't know what it smells like. It's really sweet, but it smells great. So that's a plus. And I'm also loving this Eclair lip gloss, also from NYX. Um, they were really cheap. They were like $2, and they aren't sticky. They glide on really nicely, so I'm really happy with that. Another thing I love is the Revlon Lip Butter. And so it looks like this, and it is in Peach Parfait. So it's really good, and when you take it off, it's just like a normal lipstick. And then the color is like that. So it's very natural looking, but it has a nice, like, subtle hint of color. And it's really moisturizing, which is awesome, especially because it's so dang cold out. So another lipstick that I'm actually loving is Chloe by NYX as well. It's kind of like a purpley pink color. Um, usually I would never wear something like this, but it was only like $2, so I thought I would try it out, and I'm really happy with it. Um, usually I would wear it more like if I'm going out, like, with my friends, like, drinking or something, because it is, like, pretty fancy looking, I guess, but, um, it's not too dark, which is really nice. 
And then two nail polishes that I'm loving together, that I've paired together, are these two. So I'll show them individually because that's not really going to work. So this one's called Aruba Blue by Essie and it's so nice. I love it. And also this one by Zoya. So, oh, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. But it's really glittery. Um, when I'm not so lazy, I love doing my nails. But I haven't lately in like two weeks. But before I did have the Essie on all my fingers and then on my ring finger, I had the sparkly one. So, don't look at my nails. But <laughs> I promise soon I will do my nails so that they won't look so horrible in my videos. Another favorite is this MAC Lip Conditioner. So it's amazing, very moisturizing, obviously. And my last two favorite things are kind of similar and have been in many, many videos. But the Naked One palette, specifically the color Half Baked. And sadly, uh, since my last video, I have hit pan on this one. So um, this one is Half Baked. You can't really tell that I hit pan, but I did. So, sad life. Um, but I've had this one for like a year and a half, so it's pretty good. Half Baked is my favorite. It looks so nice, and it's gold, so that's awesome. And then Naked 3 is another favorite. Haven't used it as much, of course, but those are the colors. Very, very pretty. And so, yeah, those are all my favorite things of January so far. Um, I'm sure it'll change in February, but maybe not. Sometimes I like the same thing for a while. But anyways, if you have any of these things or you want to know how I'm liking these things, obviously a lot of it's in this video. But anyways, if you're curious, uh, you can leave a comment down below or you can tweet me or Instagram me or anything and just ask me um, my opinions on it. So don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.